Good morning, I'm Monisa Klein and back live at Media Day at GBTA Broadcast Studio Live. And welcome back to John Rizzo, CEO and President of Dean. Thanks, Monisa. It's John, it's here. great to see you again and great to have you back. Likewise, thank you. So what an incredible year you've had, huh? It's been busy. <laughs> well, tell me about it. Tell me what you've been up to and what Dean's been up to in well, the past year. Well, the last year we've revised completely our travel and ground transport software stacks. We've uh, completely upgraded our IT infrastructure for latest hardware and security. So we're now sort of edge of the art with respect to information security, which is really critical these days. Excellent, excellent. Uh, brought in new customers, new partnerships. It's been a busy year. Very wow, productive. wow. Well, I understand you've got two announcements that you're making today at GBTA, and uh, so first tell me about the new conversational <laughs> interface that yes. you're launching. Tell me yes. about that. Interesting, so conversational interfaces in general are really aimed at a different way of interacting with the platform, and in 2020, it's estimated that about 50% of the workforce are going to be millennials, and as you know, millennials are more apt to interact with software in, in swiping left and right, they're not desktop oriented, they like mobile devices, mm -hmm. and a conversational interface is more like that, uh, so that you can interact with your travel software, ground software in a very simple way. And if you're like me and you're getting out of a plane, your phone's blowing up, you're trying to make calls, you're trying to find your car, to the extent that you can simply make the interface disappear with simple, uh, simple uh, taps and gestures and swipes, that's what we're doing. So today we've announced a new technology where we apply our intelligent attach technology which adds hotel and ground to an existing itinerary through these conversational interfaces like Messenger, iMessage, and so on. So now a traveler simply taps or swipes to add hotel or ground transport to their itinerary without anything, app, any app being open, without the need to call anyone, and it's all written right back into the record so the travel management company can maintain it, and it's all reconciled. So truly seamless. Exactly, wow. and, and easy, very easy. So there's clearly a benefit, right, to yes. uh, the travelers and improving the traveler experience as you've um, outlined here. Do travel managers have insight into these changes being made? They do, and because I, I think they're getting pressure from their travelers, and travel managers want to get as much of the trip into the PNR as they possibly can, because if the hotel is there and the ground transport is there, they not only have visibility into the cost, which is important, but if the trip goes awry, uh, they can manage it in one itinerary and the travel management company can do the same thing. So it, it adds econ economics to the business, it helps control, it helps visibility in the overall trip. So the travel manager wins, the traveler obviously wins because they save time, and the TMC now is an opportunity to generate more revenue per itinerary, which is important for them too. Excellent, excellent. So. Well, switching gears, tell me about your second announcement that you're making about a new partnership. Yes, so we have a, um, uh, interesting partnership with Enterprise Holdings, and as a part of our strategy to make ground integrated into travel, uh, Enterprise has an affiliate in China which has 55,000 cars, and in China, if you want to rent a car, you need to have a Chinese driver's license, which means a Chinese driver with you. And for those travelers who've not been to China before, it's as in other countries, it can be confusing, so we've added the ability to essentially book uh, pre-scheduled ground transportation through eHi in China on the Deem travel platform and all of Deem's ground platforms as well. So I can now create an itinerary, air, hotel, ground, have a national car and driver, uh, a driver on the other end in, in, in China, take me to my destination, all fully integrated, all in the local language. The, the geographic mapping of latitude and longitude has been taken care of because in China there are different mapping systems than in the United States. So that's a very important partnership for us that we're very excited about and, and we're de delivering live rides now in, in China. Excellent. Well, John, congratulations. This sounds like uh, you guys have made a huge impact, especially in a, in a region that is uh, so vital and, yep. and growing, right? It's one of the fastest growing regions in the world. It is. So it's the largest travel market on earth for business today. It is. Today. So Huge. wonderful. Thank you. Well, congratulations again, and thank you so much for spending a few minutes with us today here. Thanks, Monisa. Okay. Great to be here. Thank you very much. Great. Again. Stay tuned. We've got more exciting announcements ahead here at GBTA Media Day at GBTA Broadcast Studio Live.